How many times have I stood out there with Governor Justice and cut a ribbon on a project that, that has just been decades in the making? And you know, that, that's, it's not a coincidence. It's called leadership. And that's what the governor's brought to the Department of Transportation. He made us the focus of economic recovery. You know, there's been talk of a bridge. I found a newspaper article from 1903 between Wellsburg and Brilliant. Because it used to come across on the ferry, and the ferry froze in the river and sank in 2000, or 1948, I think it was. And we haven't had a crossing since. This beautiful item that we're gonna have here on a river is gonna benefit both sides of the river. I think it's gonna help economically. Um, I think it's going to help the whole community with community interests, uh, you know, little festivals, things like that. Helping folks with employment, helping folks with businesses. I, I think the colleges, the universities here in Brook County and Ohio County are both going to, everyone's going to benefit from this bridge. You know, it's interesting because the Ohio River separates us and this bridge is going to connect us. And uh, I, I think there, you're going to see a lot, of, uh, a lot of neat things happen between the communities. Um, you know, right now they're, they're, it seems like they're way over there and we're way over here, uh, but we're going to get really close really quick. All these communities are great people and we're very fortunate to live in this area. So anything to update it, uh, to, to make it better for the people and the community, I'm all for it. I worked uh, at uh, both powerhouses down here as a construction electrician out of our union and I would drive down this uh, hill every morning to go to work and I could see the river but I, and it was five minutes away from my job but I had another 30 minutes to drive uh, north and then south again to uh, get to my job so this means uh, uh, improvement uh, for everybody's lives. Well, it's probably 14 miles. And uh, never thought about it though. I just, you know, got in my car and away I went. <laughs> uh, I'm chairman of the Citizens Bridge Committee that uh, we started uh, in 2003 to the present time. And uh, we worked with uh, uh, BHJ uh, coordinated with them, uh, our county commissioners, uh, people that uh, were involved uh, in the committee were mayors, uh, people like that. And we had eight sites. The, one of the most exciting, I didn't get to participate, I did not get to participate in one of the most exciting projects. Uh, the Department of Transportation went to the University of Kentucky and they modeled a river like the Ohio here, and they brought in two or three uh, riverboat captains from Pittsburgh, and they took them over, and that's how the site finally finalized. The site was these riverboat captains knew when they could turn that boat, those barges, and when they couldn't turn the barges. And that's how the decision was made to where to place it, because everyone wanted here, wanted there, wanted here. They had seven or eight places. They voted, they did all of it, but the riverboat captains made the decision. And that was tremendous. And I didn't get to attend, but anyway, I've got most of the meetings and locally and in DC, but I didn't get to make that one. It's really gonna impact the smaller communities uh, across the river, uh, Tiltonsville, uh, Wells Township, uh, uh, Wellsburg, you know, uh, Beach Bottom, and all their mayors, and all the uh, uh, professors from West Liberty University and Bethany College uh, were at our meetings, and we had 51 meetings at the Wellsburg uh, City Library. Uh, they were gracious enough to uh, uh, give us uh, a, a huge room, which we needed, and we also entertained the West Virginia Department, uh, Department of Highways 
uh, representatives, uh, about eight or ten at a time, men and women that work for the Department of Highways, uh, who, who never failed to come and update us. Uh, and I give them a lot of credit uh, for, the, for their cooperation with us. So that, that's our story. A project that had lingered for years and years and years due to the underinvestment in our infrastructure, the great vision of Governor Justice to, to have the, the, the vision and the plan to go in there and to be able to take care of these regionally significant pro projects, just like Wellsburg, and, and then the technical side, you know, to, to come up with a way to build that bridge on dry land, float it down the river, jack it into place. And to accomplish what they did to set that bridge, you know, I've been in construction for 36 years, but to me that was just a, that was a massive accomplishment right there. I mean, for something that, that size to do what they did, and, and it, it was in a timely manner. I mean, it, you know, and everything just seemed to go like clockwork. I was there uh, pre-dawn hours. Um, it was, uh, you know, it was well advertised that it was going to happen. And the, um, it, it was an exciting event to see. Uh, truly, it was a pioneering engineering that was, we were witnessing. And uh, I don't know if it's ever happened anywhere else, but certainly it was a, a really a marvelous sight to see. And, how it all came to fruition. There's a lot of people said, well, I'll never live to see that bridge, and quite a few of them did pass. So, I feel pretty lucky to still be here. Uh, all of the good things that have happened, some of the bad things that have happened, but uh, it, it's going to be so exciting, you know, to drive across this bridge. In fact, I'm looking more forward to walking across as much as I am driving across. Just piece at a time, putting things in place, putting things in place. For just more good things just keep coming, just keep coming. Wellsburg Bridge is one of those good things coming, you know. Town of Wellsburg on one side, Brilliance, Ohio on the other side. You know, those, those, those areas are going to prosper for, for 100 years. <laughs> And the other thing, Randy, is before you go any further, I gotta give baby dog a drink. Yeah. <laughs> you may want to take a picture of this, folks. <laughs> Just saying. Everybody said, well, you'll never get it. And I said, don't get on it. You're, it's just something, a first time thing. This is, this is history. This is history, you know, and, and, and just crossing that bridge for the first time is history. <laughs>